Hello everybody, Terry Terry back again with another video. Today's video guys, is going to be about Roger Federer. It was a long time ago I did a Roger Federer video and uh, one of my subscribers, I don't know, I think he's a subscriber, Ghost Rider. Uh, he told me, can you please do a Federer video? What are your thoughts about Federer, Federer next year? What can we expect? Uh, what do you think? Should he play the clay court season, etc, etc, etc. First of all, I want to talk about Federer, will he play Astral Open or not? Because he got a reward in Switzerland uh, for being the best athlete in Switzerland the last 70 years or so. And he said that if this is the last thing I ever do in my entire career, this will be a perfect ending. And many of you believe that that might be Federer's last appearance, Federer's last... Uh, and some of you even thought that Federer, Federer's last tournament will be Astral Open earlier this year when he lost against Djokovic in that semi-final. And should we take those Federer words really, really serious? Will he play tennis next year? Will he even uh, play the Astral Open to begin with, which is just eight weeks away? Uh, look, guys, first of all, I think Feder, uh, Roger Feder will play Astral Open. I will be surprised if he didn't play. For God's sakes, he has been away from tennis in almost one year now. He has had plenty of time to recover, to train, to, uh, to prepare himself. And I truly believe, I am 99% sure, he will play Astral Open when the Astral Open starts from the 8th of February. So... That I'm not concerned whatsoever. So we will see Federer in Astral Open. I'm pretty confident about that. What can we expect from Federer further on on the 2020, on the 21, on 2021 season? First of all, I don't think he will play the clay court season. I just don't think. He's 39 years old. He's 77, 8 months away of being 40 years old. Uh, the clay court season, I think personally we have seen Federer for the last time in French Open. That is my feeling. Maybe I will be wrong. I don't know. I don't think we will see Federer in French Open next year or other years. We will never see Fran Federer in French Open ever again. That is my feeling. Astral Open to begin with, he will, he will play. And then I think he will play Wimbledon. I think we, he will play Wimbledon. He's the eight time, he's the eight time champion there. 12-time uh, finalist in Wimbledon and I think he will play the Olympics in Tokyo as well What can we expect from the Roger Federer? Man, this dude has given me so much joy I followed his career now almost 20 years since 2001 uh, He has given me so much joy and he has given me sadness as well but, but most joy because you who follow my channel knows that know that I'm a Roger Federer fan even though that I sometimes tend, tend to criticize him a lot. But you know me, guys. I criticize players who deserve it. And I praise players who deserve it. I don't care what the names are. Federer, Djokovic, Nadal, Cilic, Murray, Nishikori, Filiz Aliatime. You name it. I give credit when credit is deserved. I give criticism where criticism is deserved. I don't show mercy to anyone. No matter what their names are, I'm not any biased Federer fan here. Forget that. That's not how I operate, all right? So, I'm a big Federer fan and Federer give, has given me so much joy. So much sadness as well, but more, more, more joy than sadness. Uh, I'm, go, I'm coming out of the topic here, but I'm going to tell you a story when Federer won French Open back in 2009. Man, that was... Uh, one of the most biggest, happiest days of my life, besides when my children were born. Be outside from my children, when, when they were born, that victory from Federer in 2009, man, I, I, I cried of happiness. And I, I celebrated like crazy. I had a big party. I, I swear that's true. I had a big party because I waited for that victory to come for so many years. I waited in 2005, he got defeated from Nadal there in the semifinals. I waited in 2006, even though he won the first set 
And I thought, man, is, is it it? Is this the year? Is he doing now? Is he doing it now? No, he lost the three upcoming sets and lost the 2006 French Open final 3-1. Then I waited 2007, lost to the same dude, Rafa Nadal, in four sets. 2008, he got smoked. Rafa abused him in that 2008 French Open final. And when Rafa finally lost in Söderling, first of all, when Rafa lost in Söderling in the fourth round, I was so happy. I was just jumping of joy. I was jumping of joy. I swear to you guys, my family, my parents back then, I watched the match with my parents, uh, especially my dad. He said, what are you doing, man? What are you, why are you so happy that Rafa lost in Söderling? I, I said to my dad, do you, do you know what this means? Yeah, what does it mean? This means that this is the golden opportunity has come finally to Roger to win his only Grand Slam that he has never won. Because this dude has always stopped him. The last four years, this, this, this is the dude, the last three years, I should say, five, six, seven, eight, four years, the last... Four years, this is the guy who has stopped him, and now this guy is out of the tournament. This is the golden opportunity for Federer, and, and, and I am 80% certain he will take it. And he took it, even though it was not easy. He was almost knocked out against Haas in the fourth round. He was almost knocked out against uh, uh, Del Potro in the semifinals, but he took it. And when then he uh, finally won that match in the final against Söderling, I was so happy and I, I celebrated like crazy. Like I said, I had a big party uh, with my friends. So, uh, Federer has given me so much joy, so much joy, more joy than sadness. Uh, another story I, will tell, I want to tell you guys is that when I was married back in 2007, uh, <laughs> this is really fun, <laughs> fun story. Uh, I was invited to dinner as on at my wife's house, at my wife's parents, uh, because it is traditional. Who's uh, as uh, when we Albanian get married, the wife's parents they invite the daughter's husband, and they invited me. And my wife has a lot of siblings. He, she has five siblings. And all were all, the the, entire, the whole package, the whole family was there. The problem was that this dinner was on the day that Rafa, Rafa Nadal, and Roger Federer will meet in that Wimbledon final back in 2007. And I was saying to my wife, I cannot come to this dinner. Why are they inviting me on this particular day, on a Sunday, when this is the match of? This is the year's match. This is what I've waited for. Federer is going for his five straight Wimbledon title and your parents are inviting me on this day. And my wife was saying to me, my God, do you think they even know where, where, who Federer is? Because they don't. They don't know. They don't like even tennis. And they don't know that you are crazy in tennis. I cannot. You cannot. You have to come. I was in big dilemma. Of course, I was forced to go to that dinner, but I, st I said to my wife, you know, look, you look, I will come to this dinner, but I will not be myself. I will be more in the living room than I, than I will be in the kitchen. So you all will blame yourself. I will come, I will be there, but they will see some craziness, some crazy things from me. Or she said, or, I don't know, who cares? Just come. The most important thing, you are there. You, you cannot cancel. You, you, I cannot say that you cannot come because you have to come on this practical day. And I was, I was there. But trust me, I was not myself. I was going back and forth from the kitchen to the living room with my food. I was running back and forth. And all her, her family was looking at me and they were sick. They thought I was maniac, I was crazy. Because they didn't know. My wife, she knew I was crazy in tennis. But her family didn't know. They were, they were just looking. They, they were giving me so strange looks. 
And they thought that what a, who has who what is wrong with this dude? What has our what what does our daughter look at him? What why has she married against with this maniac? Because I was running back and forth, back and forth. I was not staying in the kitchen. I was running back and forth. And the match, if you guys remember, it was a close battle, especially the fifth set. Rafa had four break punch opportunities. And I was screaming and I was jumping. And they were shocked. I can tell you, they were shocked. And they just thought that this dude is crazy. What? What has our daughter done to marry with this maniac? But anyway, uh, and when Ref Federer won that match, I believe he won that fifth, sit, the, that fifth set 6-2, I was jumping of happiness and I was screaming. And uh, they, I can tell you that this, my wife's parents, they will never forget that day. Uh, because they thought I was crazy. But uh, nowadays they know and they sometimes ask my wife, does she? Does he still like Federer? And my wife says, "Yeah, he's still crazy in Federer." So, and they they uh, they are used to it by now. But 13 years ago, they were not used to it. Trust me. Uh, but they know that I am a, a tennis uh, lover, a tennis maniac. So they are used to it by now. But they were not used to it 13 years ago. So that was also a funny story uh, that I want to share with you guys. So I can I came out of the topic here. Yes. What can we expect from Federer next year? He will play Astral Open. I'm pretty confident about that. Will he win it? No, he will not. We cannot expect a 39 years old to win it. We saw what happened in Astral Open this year. He barely defeated Sandgren. Say it's six, seven match points there. He barely defeated Milman. He came back, I believe, uh, he was down in that, in that fifth set tie break. I know, he, he won six, seven straight points and won that uh, tie break, uh, uh, I believe, 10-8 eight, eight or 10-7, something like that, that super tie break. Uh, so he was, he was really escaping some Houdini wins against Sandgreen and uh, uh, Milman. And he's one year uh, older. And some of you say, but he did an amazing comeback back in 2017 when he also was out of the game for seven, eight months. He's four years older now. All right, guys, it is not the same, 2017, 2021. He is four years older, he's slower. Yes, he's still Roger Federer, he still can hit some great spot serving and he still has some, has a great, great forehand, but his returns are not super great. His uh, forehand is not as lethal as, as it was four or five years ago. His backhand is not amazing. It has never been amazing, but it is, it just, Federer is the worst tennis player. I think Federer will win three, four matches in Aslopan, but I cannot see Federer going more than quarterfinals in Aslopan. I just cannot. He even will lose in the third or fourth round. I will not be shocked if he loses the fourth or fourth round. I will not shock. But I, I, I expect Federer to win his first two matches. That I can, much, much can say. And with some luck and miracle, he can go to a final. It is not impossible. But Federer winning the final, because we have so many dudes that can defeat Roger Federer. Dominic team has a great head-to-head -head record, 5-2, I believe. Djokovic, he has not defeated Djokovic outside, outside uh, in slams matches since 2012 in uh, Wimbledon semi-final, eight years ago. Uh, uh, Rafa Nadal, he has figured out, but uh, Zverev can defeat Roger Federer. Uh, Medvedev has become stronger. Tsitsipas has also can defeat Federer. He did it that in 2019. Almost two years ago in Astral Open semi-final, uh, not semi-final, I believe it was a fourth round match. Uh, so, Fed, is, Fed has so much obstacles, so Fed winning Astral Open, I will be shocked. Not surprised, I will be shocked, even worse. I don't count with Fed winning Astral Open. Can he win it? Yeah, he can. Will he do it? No, he will not. That is my feeling. Uh, I expect Federer to go to third or fourth round as most quarterfinal. If he goes further than quarterfinal in a slow open, I will be surprised. That is my feeling. Winning it, no, I just cannot believe he will win the slow open, Roger Federer. So then, uh, I think that Federer, I've said this before, I hope, I really hope he proves me wrong 
and he proves me wrong by winning one more last slam. I don't think he will win one more. Can he win it? Yeah, of course he can. He's top five in the world. I believe he's the world number five at the current moment. Or, yeah, I believe he's world number five. The world number, Dominic Thiem is world number three. Medvedev is world number four. And uh, Roger Federer is world number five. So when you are the world number five, of course you can win, the, you can win a, a big tournament like, like slams are. But I don't think he will do it. I just don't think, I don't trust in Roger Federer's consistency level throughout a two weeks competition of a tournament like the slams are. So through, in five sets as well. He can play an absolute fabulous match in the second round and he can be horrible in the third round. He can play an absolute fabulous match in the fourth round and, and he can be horrible in the quarterfinal. His consistency level is not as good as it was three, four, five, ten years ago. It is not. Because he's older, he's slower. And he has so much, we have so many dudes who can beat him. We have five, six dudes who can beat him. Djokovic, Nadal can beat him, Tim can beat him, Zverev can beat him, Medvedev can beat him, even though Medvedev has never beaten him, but he will do it. Sooner or later, Medvedev will beat Roger Federer for the first ever time in his career. Tsitsipas can beat him. Then we have six dudes who can beat him, to mention a few. I, and I can mention more players who can beat him, but I just mentioned six now. So, no, Feder, and uh, Frank Chopin Feder will not play. Wimbledon, if Feder, will, if Feder to win one last slam, if he does it, I don't think he will do it, but if he does it, it will come in Wimbledon. That is his best chance. Why? Because, obvious reasons. He has won the tournament eight times, he has played 12 finals, and we, and we don't have so many great grass court players. We don't have. Who has won? Who can play on grass? Nadal, Djokovic, Feder. Who, the other players, they have not done great, they have not shown great results on grass. So Federer will be a much bigger threat in Wimbledon than he will be in Australia that's for sure. But I still think he will not win Wimbledon as well. Why? When he didn't do it in, back in 2019, when he had two championship points in his own serve and was only one point away of doing it, why should I believe him that he will do it when he will be three, 300, 400 points away? when the tournament will start from the first ball in the tournament, from the first match. Why should I believe in him? Why? He still needs to defeat Djokovic if he, if he faces Djokovic in the final. And players like Dominic Thiem can also defeat Roger Federer on grass, even though the Dominic Thiem is not the greatest grass court player of all time, that's for sure, but he has defeated Roger on grass actually before. Not in Wimbledon, but in Stuttgart, I believe, a couple of years ago. Back in 2016, if I'm not mistaken, he defeated Roger Federer on grass. 2016 or 2017, some of those years. I believe 2016. So that means if you if you beat Roger Federer on grass, that means that you can do it again. So Federer's chances are bigger in Wimbledon, absolutely. But I still don't think Federer will win Wimbledon. I just don't think. When Federer didn't take that golden opportunity against Djokovic, one year for. Uh, 16 months ago, it was a 19. I don't think he will ever do it again. I just don't think. When he didn't do it when he was one point away, why should he do it when he will be three, four, five hundred points away? Why? And he's older, he's slower. No, I don't think. Uh, I think Feder Grand Slam days are over. Uh, I, I don't think Feder has won his last tennis tournament. That I don't think. I don't think he will, he will win some 500 tournament or 250 class tournaments, even though he doesn't play so much of those. And he maybe will win one more last Masters. But even that, I'm quite doubtful. Maybe. That I'm not quite sure about Masters. He can win one, one last Master. But can he win one last Grand Slam? He can, but I don't think he will. That's what I, what I will say. So, but I really look forward to see Federer again. I think he will play Astral Open. I'm pretty confident he, him playing Astral Open. So I think he will play Astral Open Roger Federer. Uh, and I think he will come through the first week. I, I think he will come through the first week with experience, with, with great spot serving, with first strike tennis, I think he will come through the first week. But when he will be in the second week, how I think he will be eliminated in the quarterfinal or maybe even semifinal. But most likely in the quarterfinal, I, don't, I can't see Federer go further than quarterfinal in a solo open. So that was my thoughts about Federer's 2021 season. Uh, and uh, then he will play Olympic in Tokyo. Do I believe he will win Olympic? No, I don't think. I don't think Federer will win big tournaments 
that will come ahead. I just don't think. I don't think he will win more. I don't think he will win Grand Slams, and I don't think he will win the Olympic gold next year. I hope I'm wrong. I swear. I truly hope I'm wrong. Uh, it, it, I truly hope he proves me wrong. That will be so wonderful to see if he proves me wrong. But that is my thoughts about Roger Federer's upcoming season back in 2021. What we can expect. We can expect Federer to do some damage, to do some noise, to take some good, to take some great players out here and there, but we cannot expect Feather to win big, big tournaments like Grand Slams or the Olympic gold. He maybe will win one or one Masters, maybe one, but even that I'm really, really not sure about that he will do. But I'm more sure about that he will not win one last slam and the Olympic gold. I don't think he will do it. No, I just don't think. But hope he proves me wrong. I truly, truly hope the Roger Federer who has given me most, more joy than sadness that he proves me wrong. Alright guys, that's it. I hope uh, you enjoyed this Roger Federer video that I did. Uh, take care guys and see you next time. Bye bye.